Hey everybody, it's Shelly. So I decided to do a live, um, a live YouTube video on my haul that I got yesterday from Goodwill. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to get any watchers because I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I just thought, what the heck, I'll do this. Um, trying to get that light out of the way, but whatever. So, I will just show you what I got, and then I'll make sure I either post this to Facebook or whatever because I know my mom's going to want to watch. So, I just thought this would be a better way of doing it than doing it on Facebook and then switching it over to um, YouTube because that's been kind of a challenge for me. So, um, very bad connection. So I hope you guys are seeing this. It's so funny that it says that because my little Wi-Fi signal is completely lit up. So, who knows? We'll see how this goes. I might just end up deleting this whole video. So, <laughs> okay. So, um, first thing that I got was this shirt. I actually got this for, see, I'm going to have to switch this around, so... Or just turn off this light. Is that better? See the lighting in this room. I've got it kind of set up for photographing, but it's not very good for videos. <laughs> so we have a, um, a mattress in my office for guests. <laughs> okay, so this shirt is just a shirt that I actually got for Marley, my child. And I'm gonna wash that and stick it in this pile. Okay, so then I got this because I'm pretty sure that this is a Mickey Mouse, um, like a vintage Mickey. It's like a half shirt, and it's big and wide. It says it's a large, so, um, yeah, I'm not sure what the date is on this. It says Jerry Late Lay. I don't know to look that up. But, um, yeah, just this kind of big, wide, half shirt, Disney shirt. Um, not sure what I'm going to ask for that, but it's kind of cool. I was going to show you this too. I sold this for uh, $17.99 to somebody local who still wants to look, and it's a jumpsuit with a hood. It's kind of cool. But um, I sold it to someone local, and she's supposed to look at my store and see if she wants anything else, and she hasn't done that yet. So I'm getting kind of antsy about getting it to her. Um, and then I got this little jacket, and it is, um, Toy Story, and it's a Disney jacket, and it's a size medium, like, you know, boys or girls or whatever. Um, I actually saw a lady throw it back into the bin, and she, her, her, her words were, um, oh, somebody's up, it might be the dog, um, her words were, who at that age is going to wear something with Toy Story on it? And she threw it back in the bin. So I grabbed it because um, I think somebody will. So yeah, so it's just a little... This lighting is really kind of irritating me. I wonder if I can just turn that off and go this way. That's better. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so it's got all the characters of Toy Story on it. And... Um, yeah, hoping to get some okay money for that. Very bad connection. <laughs> this is just kind of cracking me up. Okay, so this is Wallflower, and it's this shirt with all these little eyeballs all over it. You know, 10 or 15 bucks with free shipping. And then these always sell for me. This one is brand new, um, I think. Anyways, yeah, retro. Anyways, um, Lucky Dog, Lucky Labrador, um, Biking. It's a brewing company from Portland, Oregon, but it's a bike um, jersey. It's got the pockets in the back for the water bottles or whatever. Um, those always sell good for me, so yeah. Um, and I get like 15, 20 bucks out of those or more depending on the brand. And then I got this because, um, the brand is new by Shani, but it's just this cool little, um, like sheath dress, 
but then it's got these little flowers and and beads all over the um the sleeves little cap sleeves so just super duper cute um stretchy that will hopefully get me 20 bucks and um all of this stuff that i got it it weighed about 27 pounds um and at our Goodwill, they let people combine their stuff. And so the last couple times I've been there, I've had people walk up to me and ask me if I will if I will let them go with me. And then they give me cash. So this time, it was kind of odd. Last time it was a woman, and, I, and she was, you know, I mean, she looked, she was well-dressed and everything. She wasn't like a weirdo <laughs> Not that I'm opposed to weirdos, because I am one, but you know what I'm saying. Like, some people just look a little shady or whatever. So, um, um, she was like, hey, I only have a couple things. Can I throw them in your cart, and I'll give you, um, I think she gave me, like, five bucks or something, because she had, like, three or four pounds. And I was like, yeah, because if she bought that three or four pounds on her own, it would be, like, a buck fifty-nine a pound. So she'd be, you know, spending you know, seven or eight bucks on that plus tax or whatever. And so, yeah, I was just like, so she had like three or four pounds and she gave me five bucks and I was like, yeah, no problem. So we did that and it was fine. Well, this time I had a guy come up to me and he had like this bag full of stuff and he put it in the thing and he said, it weighs 10 pounds. Um, um, can I, or he said it weighs like eight or nine pounds. Can I give you $10? And I said, sure. And so he gave me the 10 bucks right there. We were still in line. And he put his thing in my cart, his bag in my cart. And then another guy came up and said, um, four pounds, can I give you, or three pounds, can I give you four dollars? And I said, sure. So he put his thing in my cart. And I was a little worried that the checker would not like that. But she was, she just said, um, she didn't see the second guy that put his, his bat bag in my cart but the first guy was hanging right with me and um but he'd already paid me and she didn't know that and she was kind of like watching out for me because she goes oh you don't go anywhere yet and because he went to grab his bag and leave and and he goes why you know what's what's going on and she, she goes you need to pay her and he goes oh I already did and I was like oh thanks for looking out for me <laughs> So that was kind of cool. So actually, my whole thing was like 40-some pounds. Um, but my part of it was only 26 pounds worth. So I ended up paying like $41 and some change. And I walked away with $14 in my pocket. And um, yeah, so that was kind of an interesting. It looks like I have one person that is here. I'm going to see if I can pull up like a chat. Show live chat messages. I think I just did that. Yeah, I don't see anybody chatting with me. There was one person that like popped on and now popped off, but um, so it sounds if ugh, most of you will be seeing the recording of this. Okay, so this is a Hawaiian shirt and it's Ron Char Charskin Chors. Anyways, I can't even read that last name, but here's the tag. Um, looks like a pretty common tag, but I got it because it has these marlin fish all over it, and that's kind of a specialty thing as far as Hawaiian shirts go, so I grabbed it because I knew I could get 10 or 15 bucks out of it because someone's going to want that because they're a marlin fisher and they're going to go to Hawaii or whatever, you know. Um, and here's another Hawaiian shirt, but this one's a Nike one. It's um, Pride of Hawaii. And it says, Mahalo, Marcus. Um, I'm wondering if this is for the ducks. Anyway. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this will sell. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I knew how to not make it, make it where it wasn't, um, flipped backwards. I guess that's just my iPhone and there's not much I can do about that so whatever and then I got this I pick up these every once in a while and I'm not gonna sell this I'm gonna keep it it's just one of those little towels that goes on the floor it'll be washed and used in my home that's one of the advantages of doing this whole eBay thing is you find stuff that you use for you 
and you clothe your family. I mean, everything I'm wearing right now, other than my underwear, my bra is definitely from from the outlet. And um, I'm getting all these texts, like wanting me to join all these multi-level marketing things. Somebody got my phone number. Okay, so this is Stephanie B. Um, and it's just this little, like, long sleeve, lightweight t-shirt. Um, just got it because I just thought if it doesn't, if it's not worth anything, um, I'll wear it. <laughs> so, some stuff like that, I'm just like, mm. That looks interesting. Stephanie B might be something. I haven't looked it up, but I will definitely um, wear it if it's not worth anything. So I got this. It's Worthington, which isn't a huge, big brand, but it's got all these ruffles, and I don't know if you can see in the light, but it's metallic. It's And so this is just like a nice little holiday sweater, you know, coming up fourth quarter, Christmas stuff. Um, dressing up for holiday parties and adding a little sparkle. And then this is this little, oh, why it's got this little knot here. Anyways, this is just this little crocheted tank top. Um, and again, this has got metallic. You can kind of see it there. I was going to see. I don't think this had any tags in it, but it was just this crocheted little tank top, and it was super cute. Now I'm seeing some stains on it, so I'll actually wash that. It's another... Another thing about going to the bins is you find stuff like that. Um, and then I found this little um, Vera Bradley wallet. And these, I I usually end up selling Vera Bradley. It just is a seller. It's like a little ID wallet. So basically it has a little zipper thing for your money and a thing for your ID. And it's just real easy. And it, you know, has like a little keychain on it. You can clip it to something. Um, you know, I probably only get like five or ten bucks out of it, but hey, it is what it is. I actually, I'm going to see what this is worth. The Punisher, um, it's like a sleeveless jersey. Um, and if it's not worth anything, then Marley can wear it because he likes stuff like that. And then this I got, and it is Express, which is an okay brand. But I think I'm just going to put this on because I want you guys to see what it looks like. It's got like this, like just these like open front, like, you know, just this kind of interesting collar front thing that just kind of falls into place. And so I just thought that that was cool with all the little grommets and I figured somebody would want it. It's black and it's like microfiber. I'm probably going to ask like 20 bucks for it. And then I got these ACDC pajama pants. I actually got these for Marley. I got a ton of stuff for Marley this time. Not a ton, but I'm always thinking about the kids. Um, and then I got this Banana Republic, and it is size 12 tall, which is cool because tall, you know, specialty sizes like that sell. So, and it's 96. 95% wool. So other than a little bit of spandex for stretch, it is a wool blazer and it's size 12, which is a good size because that's an average size of women in this country. Okay. And then what is this and what brand is it? Oh, this is Decree and it's just this little high low, um, t-shirt. Decree's a pretty good brand, um, not, not like a super awesome one, but, um, you know, something like that that's kind of in style right now I'll grab because I know it'll sell. And then I got this, um, Deb Pinching Pesos is always parting stuff out, and, um, this is what it says it is. It's an Oster food processor um, attachment for a blender. Um, I was actually going to see if it would fit my blender because I don't have a food processor and, um, you know, sometimes you make recipes and they call for one. No, I can't get it to fit. Oh, because the little thing's got to go in there. And so, yeah. 
So there it is, and it just fits on the blender right there, and then it processes the food. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna see if it fits my my blender, but either I'll still look it up because you know if it's worth fifty bucks, I don't need a food processor right now. <laughs> crack myself up okay and so um these are just Swiffer um there it is Swiffer dusting rags and they were at the bins there's a whole bunch left they're all clean I grabbed them because I will use them in my house um I got this drawing this sketch pad for Marley and you know it was just part of the pounds that I got. I got this. Um, our Goodwill sells stuff for um, like lotions and shampoos and stuff. Jergens is kind of expensive. Like this at Walmart I think would be like five or six bucks and I got it for two and it's like almost full and I love Jergens. I love the smell of it and I know some people might be like ew it was used and you don't know what's in it. Um, I don't know. I think that people um, for the most part, are pretty honest about, um, you know, they're just get, somebody just got rid of this because they weren't using it. So, um, I don't know. I've used lotion from the bins before. I've used perfume from the bins. I've worn jewelry from the bins. Um, I just, I'm okay with it. I've grown up. I grew up getting stuff at garage sales and secondhand. Like my parents had a secondhand store. Um, when I was a young adult, first married, my mom managed an antique store. So garage sailing and antiquing and bartering and all that has been a part of my life, my whole life. So stuff like, you know, lotion that might have been used a couple times is not a big red flag for me. Okay, and then I got this um, purse. It's a hard, like it's hard, it's stiff. Um, and I got it because I needed weight. <laughs> and I was at the end of my line. Made in Hong Kong. So it's vintage. It's cool. It's all intact. There's nothing like torn up on it or broken on it or anything. I don't know what I'm going to get for it. Like I said, I was just grabbing it for weight because it probably weighs a good pound or so and I was um, like right around 22 pounds so I wanted more weight. Um, this is pink, Victoria's Secret pink. There's the, it's just a big oversized hoodie. Um, here's the big tag, pink, and then it says Victoria's Secret. And um, yeah, I'll probably get like, I don't know, 10 or 15 out of that. And then this is a Mickey Mouse curtain. And it's just one panel, but I'm going to probably ask 15 or 20 bucks for it. Because um, it's Mickey Mouse. Love the Mickey Mouse. Love the Disney. It makes me happy. When I was younger, I collected Mickey Mouse, and I still have quite a few things of Mickey Mouse and we're like Disney slash Raider fans so um, Scott even has a little Mickey Mouse that's dressed up like a Raiders player throwing a football. Um, my grandparents got it for him like years ago because they lived in San Jose so they were right there by Oakland and they got it from somewhere and I've never seen one like it but it's like made by Disney and made by NFL and it's pretty cool. Okay so these pants are, where is the brand? The brand is on the button. If you can't find a brand on pants, look at the button. So this is Fusel, but it's actually like the letters F-U-S-A-L. Fusel by Focus USA. And they are men's jeans. And they're all distressed. And they got these kind of cool pockets back here. I just noticed we're missing a snap on the one, but... Um, I was looking at these and they're going pretty good. I should, even with that broken snap, I should be able to get like 20 bucks plus shipping on these pants. That's what I'm shooting for. Very bad connection, it says. I'm just going to keep on rolling. This is a Trailblazers women's tank top with the heart basketball. Um, maybe 5 or 10 bucks. This is... Oh, I don't know how, 
Ezekiel. Ezekiel. It's E Z E K I E L, and it's all spelled weird, like um, numbers and stuff. But I just sold a um, T-shirt of these guys, and it sold fast. So when I saw this like retro-looking sweatshirt, I thought I'm gonna grab that and see if I can sell it fast, because some of their better garments were going for better prices. So um, yeah, so hoping I don't know, thirty or forty bucks is my my hopes and dreams on that. This is Project Social Tea. And it's just this tank top, kind of a high-low hem with like this native print on it. Nothing special, but I just thought it's in style, that, you know, high-low thing. And so I grabbed it, you know, five or ten bucks. And then um, Union Bay. I got this. Union Bay sells pretty well. But the reason that I got this was because it's um, a super mini skirt. Like, this is a skirt. There's no skirt under it. Like, um, I don't know if I wore this, my whole hiney would be hanging out. And then I got this because it's plus size, and it's Coldwater Creek, and it's this cool print. It almost looks like, like the texture of bar cloth. Um, I know it's, it's not, but... Like, look at the inside. It looks like bark cloth, kind of. But it's not heavy enough to be bark cloth. And I don't think... I think bark cloth is like cotton... Cottony, linen-y kind of thing. And I will not put bark cloth on this. But I will put that it's woven texture. I guess. I don't know. Um. In the... In the, um... Not in the title, but in the description, I could put that it... Has the look of bark cloth. I suppose. And then I got this. Um, it's a velvet, silk velvet. I thought I found a tag on it and it said silk. Yeah. Traditional craft silk. And it says. Silk and viscous is the content of it. But it's this velvet green. Okay get the lighting right you can see it's this dark rich velvet on this side it's like these little Celtic things and on this side it's um, clover leaves so yeah and then I got this because it's like it's a tie and it's me it's Italian fabric and it's a hundred percent silk and it's a, like a vintage tie, but it's got all these things on it for like drafting. It's got the, oh, I can't even think of any of the names of all that stuff right now. <laughs> Protractor, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, hoping that that's worth a few bucks because it's for drafting. And then I got this guy. This is so funny. This must have been at a garage sale. I don't know if you can read that, but somebody wanted 20 bucks for this little backpack. And then they took it to Goodwill, and I got it for like a buck. Um, but it's the TARDIS from Doctor Who. Um, police public call box. And hoping it will s sell good for back to school. Because, you know, kids are going back to school. Maybe you want, somebody wants a TARDIS backpack. Very bad connection, it says. Okay, and so this is Levi's. Um, you can see right there it says Levi's. Um, it's just a belt. It's just this cool belt. It says Levi Strauss on the buckle. Um, I get belts when I find them because they sell for me. I've just had really good luck selling belts. Like some people, I know like um, Deb from Pinching Pesos has really good luck with shoes. Um, my shoes just sit there for like months and months. I've thought about just getting rid of them all, but I haven't yet. I mean, I just bought a pair of Caterpillar steel toe boots, brand new at a garage sale, and they've been sitting there for two months. I don't know. And I've got them priced below what everybody else has got theirs priced. Maybe I need to jack up the price. Maybe that's my problem. Okay, these are just Levi's shorts, just denim shorts. They're not super short shorts and they're not super long shorts. They're just shorts. Um, not sure what I'm going to get for those. Maybe 10 bucks. 
And then this is like a oiled canvas um, hunting camping vest by Outback Trading Company. The original Bush Outfitters. I think this is actually made in Australia. Let me see if I can see on the tag. I don't have my reading glasses on. Made in Fiji. Oh, okay. Anyways, just a vest. These like hunting, I know this isn't like an actual hunting vest with all the pockets and stuff, but just these, you know, kind of outback roughing it vests sell pretty well for me. So hopefully that one will too. And this one, I think I need to wash it because I there was some stains. Yeah, there's some stains on the front of it, but it's just this, it's lo by Love Stitch and it's just this sweet little... It's got the mother of pearl buttons, and you can see the stain there on the side of the buttonholes. Um, and it's just this little lacy, semi-sheer, um, sleeveless blouse. So cute. So I grabbed it even though it had the stain, because I'll wash stuff if it needs it. And then this is, um, I'll show it to you backwards. Will it show? Oh my god, I showed it to you backwards and it worked. Daniel... Is it Hector, I guess? Um, and it's below it, it says Paris, and it's just this floral, um, like silk. I don't know. Scarf. So maybe he's worth something. And then I got this because it's My Little Pony. And if you. Oh, okay, now I gotta figure out how I got it open before. There was like something I pushed. Oh, maybe. Oh, <laughs> okay. So if you, this is my little pony. I'm assuming for the little miniature ponies and you open it up and the top pops up and all this little stuff pops out. I'm going to sneeze. Whew. Okay. So not sure what I'm going to get for it. It's my little pony Christmas tree house thing. It's called Minty Christmas. I don't know. Let's see what that's worth. I didn't look it up, obviously, because I don't know what it's worth. And then I got this scarf, and it is... Oh. Collection 18. And it's just this cool, like, bohemian, like, scarf, shawl, wrap thing. And I'm um, not sure what I'll get for it, but. And then I got this fabric. It's all stuck together because it's got a, a Goodwill tag on it. They wanted $3.99. It says as is, so I'm going to have to look it over. It must have a rip in it or something. But it's just this, like, polyester vintage floral fabric. I mean, it almost looks like it should be a couch or something, but I think it's more for, like, a shirt. So. And that's what I got at the Goodwill. So, um, this will post to my YouTube channel, and I will share it on Facebook. And, um, it looks like nobody came on live, so that's cool. <laughs> um, you guys all have a great Thursday. It's Thursday the 24th of August. And um, I'll try to do another one of these soon. Have a good one.